What up YouTube, your boy the Flying Spanner here. Today we have a model unboxing for you. And in this unboxing, there's a good selection of models. Um, so this lot is from Bedfordshire Diecast, um, which if you've noticed the trend, you'll probably realize this is uh, full of NG models uh, from the latest batch. There's a good few orders in here. Uh, some that have been outstanding for a while, uh, for a few months, uh, and others that have just been released this month. So let's get straight into the box, and I'm going to go a different way. I'm just going to take the lid off the box. Let's uh, see how that goes. So when I get in, I'm not going to be. I'll be opening each individual model, but I won't go around each one because so I think there is quite a few models in here. So uh, yeah, there's no real point going through and going around each one and uh, going. Oh, look at this one! Because then the video will uh, it will take a while. I'll open each one. And uh, just have a look from there, um, just to make sure there's no hiccups or anything like that. Uh, right. There we go. The lid is off the box. Right, so there's a little yeah. the flag here for the uh, Amsterdam Fair. Which is in September. Hmm, fair enough. Better for sure must be uh, uh, participating. So, of course, well packed. Um, hmm, how am I going to do this? Uh, let's take some photos. Let's, let's see this out. Voila. It goes back on box. Box goes to the side. So, in our uh, big wrap of bubble wrap, we have six models. In this six, there you go down a bit, we have the Royal Australian Air Force um, 737-700 by Panda. Of course, this will feature on the Australian airport. Uh, nicely decorated box. Uh, and yeah, it's something different. So I thought I'd add that in. And um, we'll get that open in a sec. We have also for the Australian airport, we have the Bonza 737 Max 8 um, called Baza. I think they released Baza and Shazza. Uh, interesting, this model, I might be able to feature on the UK airport because I've seen Enter Air. Um, have a bond have one of these maxes and they've just covered over the title so um there's an option for that so um we'll uh, get that open as if i don't know how we'll get that open of course we're going to get it open and then we have the updated um her r757 so before this i didn't have the caribbean up when i had them last time i didn't have the caribbean airport um, and I did kind of not miss them, but I really, I really like the design. I think they're really funky, uh, and they United do still operate the seven five seven. So, go and make the most of that. So, uh, yeah, these will be featured in the Caribbean and yet Air, um, UK airports, um, and also NG have updated their seven five seven box, so it's more slimmer and uh, streamlined, which is very nice. So we got both of those as a pair, and we have the long awaited. A G and A three twenty one Neo, and finally, so this isn't my model personally. This is I bought this for my brother. Um, he wanted it, so I hooked up in my order. Now we have the Aerolinus Argentinus A three thirty two hundred in the uh, Argentina uh, team livery, and of course they won the World Cup this year. So uh, NG have nicely decorated the box. So uh, we'll get that one open, uh, and we'll see what's that. So, starting with this one, we'll go for a little box, little tour around all the Argentina colours, uh, pictures of the players lifting the trophy, which I think is a nice, uh, nice statement. Of course, Lionel Messi uh, in there. And let's get my card out. Ooh, that's lovely. Lovely little model, looks really cool. Nice little livery as well. So we've got no issues there uh, in the terms of quality wise. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much as close as we'll get. 
Uh, that's from this one. I'll get back away and I'll tear that down south with me and give that to my brother next week. Right. On to Baza. So, uh, bomb delivery, very weird, got a little thumbs up, don't know why, don't know what that signifies. But, we'll see, crack it open. Oh, lovely, that's a, definitely a different plane. Here for Australia, obviously must be their slogan because it's on the engine and the underbelly. Lovely different livery, so that'd be a nice addition to uh, to the Australian airport, which I need to do an update on. I am going to do a Caribbean update. I'll probably do an Australian update afterwards. Yeah, no issues there at all. Fancy feature two, two aircraft on that one, and also the uh, Air Force one. Right, another car. Mac. Yeah, so, open. so I haven't had a panda model in ages. Yeah, that looks well, that's really cool. I know it's just a plain, fairly plain livery, but nice little addition. Once again, let's keep saying something a little bit different. Um yeah, that's that's very nice. A little detail, and then they've added like a little uh wedged I don't know what they would call that little tip on the tail there. So they've obviously changed the mould slightly for the uh, military version, which is always good to see. Good to see them keeping it in realism-wise. Not realism-wise, but you know what I mean. Right, on to the, uh, the final three. Yeah, it's just a very quick unboxing. Sometimes I feel like I waffle on too much. <laughs> and uh, um, just kind of explain the same stuff. Yeah, really, I just want to see the models. So, there's a GM box there. I have done a custom 320 Neo, which I might sell. Uh, so then we have this one. Uh, once again, no issues at all. Oh look, that looks really cool. I really like the Aegean. The new Aegean livery looks really nice. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. I'm a fan of blue, so Aegean definitely ticks that box. It's kind of a, the standard Euro, Euro white, that I think we call it now. Um, with that ta tail design, but at least they've added different colour. It's very similar to what Aer Lingus has actually, really, with that back bit of blue that comes out. Once again, another card. I have done, I have tried the reward scheme. Um, so NG have finally up released the reward scheme um, for the models. <laughs> this is quite fun. Loads of cards coming out. Um, I've ordered a Hadpack Lloyd and it's really actually well priced. So they basically, you send it, you process it, and then you send it to, uh, they send it to the retailer, I assume in like a box, um, in like a bulk of whenever they send their models to the retailers. Um, so it's all NG stock, um, NG stock, um, but it's just not coming through um, until, well, they have it in their warehouse, must be in Hong Kong, and then they send it to your retailer, and then your retailer gets in contact with you and sends it on from there, which is uh, quite nice, quite nice and handy, and they've got a nice selection. Um, the points vary, so you can spend, I spent 50 points, where you could spend 100 points and get like a bigger and uh, newer release, uh, which is quite good. And then just the final model here. <coughs> Probably my favourite one of the two, uh, the, the uh, California one with the sea and the palm trees and the Golden Gate Bridge. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Very pretty 757. Right. Actually, a lot. So, yeah, I tried to keep it under 10 minutes, <laughs> it seems to have succeeded. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. I know I have been too. Uh, enthusiastic for the whole thing of uh once again early in the morning not early in the morning it's the morning time so i uh, haven't been awake for too long my voice is just waking up but i like to get the videos out uh nicely for you guys so that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching the video i hope you've enjoyed it and uh, have a very good day i'll see you in the next one adios and goodbye